Our next guest uh, is going to tell us about a new $688 million acquisition, the use of AI and drug discovery, and so much more. Joining us right now is Chris Gibson, co-founder and CEO of biotech firm a Recursion, which recently announced the acquisition of a small arrival, Accentia, in an all-stock deal. Good morning to you. How are you, Andrew? Good to see you. I'm great. And uh, I'm great because we're talking to you, and I find that your company, you know, we talk about AI all the time and, you know, consumer uses and B- B2B uses. To me, your use case is, is the one case that actually seems to be uh, working in a remarkable way. For those who are uninitiated with recursion, uh, tell us about exactly how it works and what you guys are doing uh, in the healthcare space. Absolutely. So, look, biology is extraordinarily complex. So complex that 90% of drugs that go into human clinical trials actually fail before they ever make it onto the market. And so at Recursion, we've spent the last decade building an automated platform where robots are doing millions of experiments, generating massive data sets, petabytes of data. And then we're using AI to understand all of the patterns in those data to try and essentially move failure earlier in the pipeline so that when we take a medicine into the clinic, our hope is that it'll be two patients faster, at a lower cost, and eventually make better medicines available for people all around the world. Is there a a good example of this where it worked so far that you can talk about? Absolutely. We have uh, five programs that are in human clinical trials right now. Uh, And over the next 18 months, we're going to read out seven clinical trials. And with the proposed uh, 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 business combination with Accentia, we hope to actually be able to read out 10 programs in the next 18 months. And in our industry, in biotech, that's quite a number for such a small uh, company. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about Extensia, that w- in terms of what that deal does for you. It, it effectively, it's, it's, it's providing you with, with just m- more to train on or no? Well, absolutely. I mean, the process of discovering and developing a medicine consists of hundreds of different steps. And though we've been working on the problem for uh, over a decade, We've really built some incredible solutions on a lot of the biology and the early chemistry and some of the later parts of the process. The team at Accentia, we think, has led the world in the precision chemistry components that kind of go into the middle of the discovery process. And so by bringing these companies together, two smaller upstarts in the face of this massive biopharma industry, we believe that we're going to be able to build an end-to-end full-stack solution of tech-enabled drug discovery that, as I said earlier, is going to bring better medicines to patients sooner. And one day, we hope, at a much lower cost. So does this speed to market or speed through phase one, phase two, and phase three trials? So is there a cost savings or or a quicker to market um, aspect to this? Yeah, thanks, Melissa. Absolutely. It's, you know, our goal to prove that over the coming decade, that this kind of approach, this experiment we're running, about whether there's a better way to do drug discovery, a different way to do drug discovery, that ultimately it will mean faster to market, less expensive, more efficient. We're in the early stages. You know, it takes a couple billion dollars in roughly 12 to 15 years on average to bring one medicine to patients. We're an 11-year-old company. We've got five medicines in clinical trials. And as I said before, if this business combination comes through, our hope would be to read out 10 trials in the next few months. So, you know, we believe we're on a trajectory in our first 20 years as a company, uh, becoming a true platform, a company that's using these tools of automation, machine learning, AI, and the incredible teams at the companies that are coming together in order to really, really improve the efficiency of this industry. And you know, at the end of the day, what really matters is bringing patients uh, medicines right. because they're waiting. Good. And there's a lot of diseases where our medicines just aren't good enough today. Chris, is there a competitive moat? And my other question is, Do you imagine that everybody in your business is going to be using similar technology? What are the patents on your technology versus others? Yeah, absolutely. So we believe that the competitive mode in our field is data. Uh, We are seeing a commoditization of the AI tools across the space. And so we really think the differentiator will be data. And at Recursion, we've spent the last decade building a, a proprietary set of over 50 petabytes of data from real experiments that we've been running in our own facility. Uh, at the end of the day, though, um, you know, what really matters is that a patient is getting a medicine. They don't really care if that medicine came from AI or if it came from a, a traditional approach. But we think these kind of tools are going to dramatically accelerate the pace of, of discovery. 